Howdy, 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 Bulls Kills here, and today we're finding the Ender Dragon. I should probably get the bow out, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to set down a bed, and I highly recommend you everybody do this. Set your bed and set your spawn. Because we're playing on the Bedrock Edition, and for those of you out there who don't know why that's important, it's because this edition is known for tons of glitches. So I also recommend don't bring any valuable gear. For instance, I have diamond gear. But I'm not going to bring it. Instead, I'm just going to wear iron gear and some enchanted iron gear that I got from the uh, pillager raid. Now, if you have a feather following, uh, yeah, feather following book and some spare diamonds, I highly recommend making, at least having feather following on your boots. Anything else doesn't really matter. This fight is extremely glitchy. And if you're playing solo, don't bring any good gear because you're most likely going to get knocked off the map. If you're playing a friend, though, maybe bring some good gear and have one guy do a lot of the more suicidal work. Also, bring some glass bottles, and I highly recommend you bring an ender chest with some backup potions. Because once we get down the suicide bit, which we're most likely going to die in at least once or twice, then we'll pull up those ender chests and get all our potions and all that. Now, I am bringing my good bow, because your bows are necessary. In fact, one of the things I always have a hard time with the ender dragon is getting an infinity bow. You're that or a crap ton of arrows, because you don't need them. Alrighty, let's go. Yeah, see, this is a suicide, but... The dragon spawned in. Now the end dragon will suicide bomb me, so I gotta be fast. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, 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 gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, 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 gotta go, gotta go. I hear him flapping. Yeah, he's gonna be here soon. I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, go, go. Also, bring building blocks. I forgot to mention that. Now I highly recommend you bring an inner chest and you plop it down as soon as you can and put spare gear in there. Uh, sometimes you get lucky and your uh, spawn is closer to the island or is actually inside the island. Alright. See this inner chest? Spare gear and everything. You already mad at me, bro? Yep. Now the only thing that I recommend bringing diamond wise is a diamond sword. Because these endermen will get mad at you very easily. Now this isn't my best diamond sword. So I didn't really lose much. I also recommend slow pushing a falling. To make life much easier. Now we gotta shoot down these towers or else the ender dragon will heal up. See boom, we destroyed one. Now we're gonna get higher, destroy the. And she might be able to get a lucky shot off. Come on. I'm gonna get higher to get a good shot on it. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste any more. So let's actually. Uh, let's go up here. Now be very careful. The inner dragon is known for doing pretty much dives on you. They'll launch you, make you go flying in the air. So it's good to have ender pearls. Or. Yeah, into pearls. Because they'll teleport you if you chuck it. Or a potion of slow falling, which I have equipped. Alrighty. Oh, this is. I did not equip. Hmm. See, we don't get. We don't want to get launched off, but if we get launched off. Boom. Get stationed. See that ender pearl saved my life. Uh, I also recommend staying still, or else, yep, that'll happen. But I want to collect this stuff. That's on me collect it. Uh oh. I didn't make it slave platform. Alright, I also recommend you make at least one of these. Heal up. This is not going well. Ah! I'm dead. See, Ender Dragon, man. If you're playing solo, there's no point bringing your good gear. You're gonna get launched off. If you're playing with at least maybe three or four friends, maybe bring your diamond gear. If you're playing solo, there's no point. You're just gonna get launched off. And yeah. 
I must play on these on hard mode. Now Depending on how much you want to die and respawn, die and respawn, you may want to turn down the difficulty. That won't do much though, because at the end of the day, that doesn't stop the Ender Dragon from doing his suicide dives, which are really what kills you. Also, fix your inventory. Also, a good way to die. Any achievement. Now, for those of you out there who have played on the here we go again! Love this boss fight. Oh, bad notification. Quite wonderful. Boom. Watch out for that. So, I destroyed that one. Alright, we need to get up here. Now, this slow potion of falling, I should probably actually drink it. It will pretty much slow down your falls and pretty much stop from taking fall damage. It won't save though if you get into the void, so it's not that good of a potion. Like, it's really good for, like, not dying to fall damage and all that, but it's not the best thing in the world. Alright, I'm gonna take a lot of damage from this. Yep. It's worth it, because I actually get good shots now. Boom, there goes one. Can I get this? See, I wish I would render in, saying if I got it or not. I believe I got it. I did not get the one up there. I don't have clean shots. I'm gonna have to build up for that. Wow! What the? Oh yeah, dragon fire! Yay! Alrighty. Have to wait till I heal up though, because I'm not doing so good in HP. The last thing about hard mode is that you heal slow. Pressure about some healing potions, which we do have in the in the uh, inner chest. But like I said, I don't want to touch my inner chest until oh, we're gonna run out of blocks. Alright, we can't destroy that yet. Can't take out the one right there. I think this one's on... S See, I don't know if it's... I'm assuming it's destroyed. Well, time to find out. Woo! Uh-oh. Nope, it was not destroyed. It just didn't render in. We're gonna need our spare blocks. I put the spare blocks in our chest. I gotta, be, I gotta be fast, so I don't know why I placed this here, because we can get launch, launched off very easily. And I wanna grab my spare bow. Alright, dude, let's go over here. Was this tower, right? Yeah. Was this tower? No, it was that tower. Do, 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 do. Now, don't be fooled, these towers are really good. Now, not for the fight, but for afterwards, because one of the main reasons why we want to kill this inner dragon as soon as possible is that this is one of the best ways to get tons of obsidian very easily without having to worry about lava and all that. And, oh, yay, I'm flying. Whew, good boss fight. If you guys can't tell, I'm not a big fan of this boss fight. To me, I don't know how they can make it really too difficult. That, I don't know. See, originally the inner dragon, what he would do is he wouldn't do where he would hit you and all that stuff. He would just hit you like fireballs on stuff. Like, he wasn't that big of a threat, but they buffed him because... And, like, he is the final boss in Minecraft, or he's supposed to be like, one of the final bosses in Minecraft, and he's quite easy to kill, so I see why they buffed it. Or buffed him. Hello there, over there. No! Uh-oh. I should have took this potion a long, long ago. This potion is so useful. I need to heal up now. So, we, so I believe there's only one more crystal left. I could be mistaken. I highly recommend you make one of these too because Enderman hurt. If you get Enderman mad, he won't be able to hit you because they're three blocks high and this is two blocks. So yeah, we're all good. Also, another reason why you want to you know, get to the Ender Dragon as soon as possible, is that it's a good way to farm Endermen and get Ender Pearls. For Ender Chest and, you know, being able to teleport on stuff is pretty cool. How much longer has this, uh, I'm making break for the Ender Chest, I want to grab one more potion, because the, the, those are actually extremely useful. See, I've never used these in the Ender Dragon boss fight, so I kind of wanted to experiment. And I should have made more. It also doesn't help that these things are a pain in the... I think I got some Enderman out of me. I'm gonna quickly retreat here. 
Yep. So you can't hit me. Woo, the end dragon still can though, so I gotta be fast about this. Oh. And you destroyed my cover. No! And, oh no. See, like, this boss fight is extremely no uh, annoying playing solo. Now, when you're playing with friends and all that stuff, this boss fight's not as annoying. But doing it by yourself is extremely annoying, especially on hard mode. Now, if I was on, let's say, normal, it wouldn't be that bad. But on hard mode, whenever it, you know, it takes longer to heal, inner dragon hurt more and all that, you know what I'm saying? It just can get annoying fast. Good news, though. I believe that the Ender Dragon hit the Enderman that was mad at me, so the Ender Dragon that was mad at me should no longer be mad at me. Bad news, I still died. Let's drink this. Yes, Ender Dragon, I know you're there. Yeah, and this is a. Oh, you're still here! Hey, buddy! He's gonna kill me. That's what you get, buddy. Can't kill me. Oh, I can, though! <laughs> oh, I apologize for that guy. I forgot to unplug the one thing. Ah! I hate this boss fight so much. Oh, now we're down to our last potion of slow falling. I should have. I should have got more of these. Uh oh. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. Quickly drink that. Uh oh. Hey, buddy. Oh, I got an Enderman mad at me, didn't I? Shoot. To the last, last uh, tower, and then we're good. Do we even need to build up to it? Can I get to build to a smaller one? Nah, I'm better off just building up to it. I'm gonna watch out, because now I have the Enderman that's mad at us, and now I don't have the slow falling potion. Down. It's also. This is, again, one of the most annoying things about the Inner Dragon boss fight. It's pretty much just death. Death, 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 death. Now, uh, luckily, I've not been launched off the edge, so all my stuff is still good. This is why I don't recommend bringing the diamond gear, because you can very easily be launched off the edge and into the void. And for those of you who haven't played... Again, what the... Make me fly, stop it. Don't do it. Now, there is an Inner Man mad at me, so I gotta... Oh, it may have not been the internet, it may have been that stupid dragon's breath. Oh, I'm safe here to go to Mammoth Troy. Unless the uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna unflux. I'm gonna go for more blocks. Yay, Ender Dragon. Woo, fun boss fight. I really dislike this boss fight. And for those of you wondering why I'm not attacking the Ender Dragon, for those of you who have never played Minecraft before, uh, these towers, I should have explained this by when I was destroying them. But you have to destroy them, and I don't remember where my Ender Chest is. Ah, uh, you know what, I have wood, I can waste some wood. I just want to get this fight over with. And I've got an Enderman mad at me. Just gotta run my safety pillar. Aha! You can't kill me. You know, actually killing this Ender Dragon, or er, this Enderman is not a bad idea, because then I can use his Ender Pearl to teleport down. Show yourself, hurry! Yeah, 
drop your eye. A you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come here, come here. Yeah. Oh, he hit me. I didn't make it good enough. Come on. You're mad. You're furious at me. Uh, for those of you watching, that was not the Enderman, that was the Inner Dragon. And great, now I have an Enderman mad at me. And Cortana, lovely. Let's pop in here real quick, I'm gonna need this sword. Because for those of you who aren't paying attention, the Inner Dragon also destroyed my cover. Yep. Go. Come on, come on. Got you. Oh my goodness gracious. I haven't. <sighs> Literally, one of the most annoying boss fights to do by yourself. You know, I nearly said, you know what? This is a solo world, but I may invite a friend over to help me defeat this guy. Yeah, I probably should have done that. Really? I just came here. Ah! Well, you know what, uh, I've not, I've only died maybe three times in this whole series, and pretty much every one of them was from fall damage, because, you know, falling a lot's fun, I guess. But I, I've died so many times here, like, and that Enderman and that Enderman's still gonna be mad at us, right? No, I think we're cool. I think we're cool, I think we're cool. Hello there, stuff. I missed you. Well, stuff can't get you now. So, we're going up there. We're destroying this crystal thing. Well, the worst part of this boss fight is that. Whoever designed this boss fight should really reconsider their career. Like, I guess in the dev's de defense, the boss boss fight being this annoying and I... See, I don't want to say difficult, because once we destroy the last pillar, this boss fight is literally a cakewalk. It's just this final pillar is extremely... Or, uh, ugh. The pillars are extremely annoying to take out. Why am I even picking my stuff back up again? I'm just gonna get launched off since I tried building up. Yep, there he is. Woo! Fall damage. I'm still alive! But I can't go up there, so I go up there and destroy the thing, and I'll die. So I don't wait till heal. Problem is, the Ender is gonna do another sweep attack. Ah, he's doing that. So I put on my armor. That doesn't even matter. I hate this boss fight so much. See, the bedrock condition is just terrible for boss fights. Like, this is not even just this boss fight. The Wither, the other boss. Yeah, if you die to him, he becomes invincible and you can't kill him. The only way to get rid of him is to switch it over to peaceful. Which, yeah, that's an easy solution, right? You're right? Like, it is, unless you're playing on a realm. And, the, and you have to tell the realm guy, yo, we gotta switch it to peaceful, man. I don't know if that's possible. I've not messed around a lot of realms. I may in the future, though. I don't know. Oh, Ender Dragon's coming to do a sweep attack. Ah. I'm risking it. At this point, we just need to destroy that stupid pillar. And now there's an enderman man on me. Wonderful. Oh, I should have brought a bucket of water. Actually, I think I did, but it's probably gone now. Oh no, we're here the weens. The ender dragon's coming! For those of you wondering why I did that, it's that way when I when I died, uh, my stuff would be somewhere that is easily obtainable. 
All right, now we can actually we can actually do the fight. So I'm gonna grab this, this, this. All right, let's go. The fight has officially started, and I'm about to lose already. Since all the pillars are gone and destroyed, we can actually start this biash fight properly. I just need to get all my stuff back and get re equipped. Hold on, Ender Dragon, well, I'm almost ready. Oh. Alrighty, Ender Dragon, you ready? I'm a terrible shot. You know, I kind of wanted to bring the crossbow into this boss fight, but I wasn't sure. Wait. Am I not hidden? Wait, what? What? Don't tell me this guy's invincible now. Maybe I just missed all my shots. Maybe I'm just garbage. Yeah, I was, I was missing all my shots. See, this guy ain't nothing. Look how much health he took away from already. I need food. Ooh, I need that dragon's breath. Get over here, you. I'm not picking it up. I guess it wasn't dragon's breath. Ooh, that was a good hit. I'm just gonna go melee on when he gets here. Get over here, you! Yeah, look how much health we just took away. This guy is nothing without the pillars. Like, he can still kill you. That's why you need. Yeah, he must be invincible arrows when he gets here. Like, he used to not be, but I don't know. They change things so often in this game. Or it could be a bug, because this is, let's see, dead already. Hey, boom, ba -da -bee, that's how you do things. And look at all the XP we get. Yay, we can enchant now. Wow. There's more XP. Yep. And don't worry, fellas, we'll be back here next episode, not here in this area of the end, but in the next thing, because over there, there's a portal. Now, really quickly, though, I need to put a warning. I'm going to do the same warning in my next episode. On this edition of Minecraft, uh, there's a glitch, and that could destroy your world, pretty much. It can corrupt your world. So, you, you can do multiple options, or you can looking up on YouTube. And all that stuff. Now on this channel though, I'm going to go through it, but I'm going to make a copy of the world. And I recommend if you're going to attempt to go through it, make a copy of the world or try one of the alternative ways. We'll explain more in the next episode why you want to go through the portal. Of course, we have a copy of your world for safety. That's in the next part. Now let's go back home. In Minecraft. Do, do, do. We beat the game. Alrighty, you really can't beat Minecraft. This is just pretty much like the... I don't know what you'd say. So it's bed and we're out of here. We're done. We're gone. We're the champions. We only died like ten times. And we got Dragon's Breath. Which I don't really know what it does fully. I didn't know it was a thing until I was looking through my achievements. And it said collect Dragon's Breath. So yeah, I collected some Dragon's Breath and got a nice achievement. So I don't know what it does though. I'm going to do a bit of research off camera and see what it does. Hopefully it's something cool and it's not lame. I wonder if you can drink it. Nope, can't drink it. And yeah, that was the Ender Dragon Bush fight. Like, share, and subscribe, and you know what I do. Both skills, sign off. B.I.